Everybody loves Zuberas, including you. I know that I do. Today, we're playing a brand new card from Streets Fake Your Own Death. Essentially, it's the same thing as Undying Malice and Supernatural Stamina, where it's going to give our Floating Dream Zubera Undying. That's what Fake Your Own Death does. But it costs two mana. Well, why would we play an effect that costs two? Well, it makes a treasure token, so it essentially costs one. But what treasure tokens do is they fix our mana. So we're essentially a mono black deck splashing Floating Dream Zubera and then the Ember Fist Zubera. By playing Fake Your Own Death, you're able to play multiple copies of Floating Dream Zubera mid combo or more easily play the Ember Fist Zubera so you don't need to draw your entire deck every game. That's the idea behind Fake Your Own Death. We're going to try playing four of these today. With four copies of Fake Your Own Death, We've moved down to three copies of Undying Malice and three copies of Supernatural Stamina. But we've gone up on Vassar Seer and then the Blood Throne Vampire. Well, what's missing? We cut Village Rites, uh, which might seem a little bit wild because Village Rites is card advantage. But when you play 10 copies of these Undying cards, you need a consistent Sacrifice Outlet to be able to abuse them. So we've gone up to six copies of these Sacrifice Outlets from four, and we're going to see how that plays today. I did consider trying to build a Mono Black list, but I just don't know how to do it quite yet. So and by Mono Black, I mean no Dismal Backwater, no Islands, no Misfault Bridge. So... In theory, you could build this deck and just say, hey, I'm going to have a mono black mana base. We're going to make that work. Um, and then use Fake Your Own Death and then the Deadly Disputes to cast your Floating Dreams Uberas. Or you somehow discard Floating Dreams Ubera and then bring it back with either Unearth or Exhum. I'm not sure how to build this mono black variant yet. If you have any ideas on how to do that, Let's talk, join our Discord. You can do that using the description down below and help me figure out how to make this mono black list. I think that would be truly awesome. So if you have those ideas, definitely join. Uh, but the idea, if you're unfamiliar, let's say this is the first time you're ever watching Zubera Storm. So we want to get Floating Dream Zubera into play. Sacrifice it to effects like Vassar Seer, but then you cast Undying Malice, Supernatural Stamina, or Fake Your Own Death on the Floating Dream Zubera before you would sacrifice it. It comes back, you draw a card for every Zubera that's died this turn. So you just want to keep on bringing back the Zubera with Undying over and over. You also have effects like Unearth to bring it back, which is similar, but a little bit different, or Exhum. The nice thing about Exhum is that you can get it off to Shred Memory, so you have a tutor for it. Um, and then after you've drawn most of your library with Floating Dream Zubera, you'll cast an Ember Fist Zubera and then deal your opponent lethal damage with the Zubera. That's pretty much how it works. No true storm spell in this deck, but let's be honest, it's definitely a storm deck. And if you think otherwise, you're wrong. Uh, I guess we do have this storm card in the sideboard though, whether the storm, I've gone up to two copies with this due to the popularity of the red black burn deck. It just sort of seems like a no brainer and you can get it with shred memory, which is kind of nice, which is why you'll see in the sideboard, we have a bunch of cards that cost two mana, like this flaring pain, which sometimes you need in order to get the ember fist damage through a secondary ember fist in case of graveyard removal protection with the ashen skin Zubera against blue decks prohibits another two mana counter that you can search for with shred memory and then hydroblast for pyroblast effects because we do need to get the zubera onto the battlefield that's my deck tech if you have any questions suggestions whatever put those down below but for now i'm gonna hop on in and play some magic the gathering i hope you join me and i'll see you in match number one if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. That said, there's no better way of showing your support than becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks, and we get to keep making combo content. The perks get better and better each level you go up. They also stack. To start off, with our Storm Fan tier, you unlock our private member section of our Discord, which comes with a highlighted user profile, and then some awesome badges and emotes for YouTube. Looking for some Cyborg help? Become a Stormtrooper, our middle tier, for two Cyborg guides of your deck choice every single month, on top of 50% off donation decks. Did we mention you also get 10% off merchandise from our shop? With our top tier, the Combo Cabal, you get a free donation deck every single month. 
15% off merchandise from our shop, early access to private deck lists, and the most valuable perk in my opinion, videos early. That's right, you heard it, early access to all videos. But maybe sweet perk, secret deck lists, early access to videos isn't for you, but you'd still like to show your appreciation. Make sure to check out the epicstorm.com slash shop for card singles and storm swag. Please don't forget to use your membership discounts. Finally, if you want to see your combo deck here on this very YouTube channel, make sure to visit theepicstorm.com slash donation decks, where all you have to do is attach your TXT file and pick a donation tier. With our epic tier, you can even join me in a video to showcase your bold brew in person and explain the ins and outs of your strategy. Card availability won't be an issue due to our new sponsor, Card Hoarder. With Card Hoarder, renting is super easy. If you're looking to get into Magic Online, Online, there isn't a better, more affordable solution than Card Hoarder. Fun fact, you can rent the Epic Storm for 7 tickets a week, which is just a great deal. There are many ways you can support us, just pick whatever is best for you. In the meantime, let's play some Magic. Welcome to the first match, we're going to Zubera, I'm calling it now. Here we've opened up Double Floating Dream, no blue mana which is a little bit awkward, but I think I'm going to keep this. We have Fake Hero and Death, which could theoretically make mana with this Blood Throne Vampire, which is a secret mode of Fake Hero and Death. It does mana fix a little bit because you can Fake Hero and Death on the Blood Throne Vampire, sacrifice the Vampire to itself, and then get your Charger Token and your Vampire stays on the battlefield. So it's something. Okay, passing the turn after we played our Peat Bog. Thraben Inspector, Cabal Ritual, um, let's play the Vampire past the turn. Opponent plays a second copy of Planes. Squadron Hawk, you got it. They picked up three copies of Squadron Hawk and now they're going to discard after they attack for one. Do you have the Prismatic Strands? They don't, they just discard the Hawk. Supernatural Stamina. So I can play the Fake Hero and Death here, but I lose my Peat Bog. So I think instead I'm actually just going to pass here. And then next turn I can discard the Floating Dream Zubera, bring it back with the Unearth, and then start trying to win the game. I think that's just a better strategy here than throwing away my land to cast this Fake Hero and Death. Boros Garrison, sure thing. Luminarch Veteran, okay. They go up to 21, and we'll take 2 down to 17, draw. Another Peat Bog. Um, Alright, I think we just shifted planes back to the fake your own death thing. Lightning Bolt. This seems like a terrific time to fake my own death. Okay. The vampire dies, and I get a treasure token! Ah, uh, they have Journey to Nowhere. So I can sacrifice my own creature to itself, and then bring it back next turn with the Unearth. Okay. And another copy of Boros Garrison. So we know our opponent has two lands in play out of their five cards. Or two lands in hand, I mean. And now we've drawn a third Floating Dream Zubera. Um, we're a little bit choked on mana here. So I can bring back the Vampire and cast the Floating Dream. But that's it. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I could Shred Memory for another Cabal Ritual, but then I lose my blue mana. Hmm. I think I'm supposed to play a Floating Dream here. And then let's bring back the Vampire. Pass the turn. They're sacrificing a clue. They still have a land drop this turn, so they can have up to three mana, and obviously they played their land that we knew that they had. Three mana. Sacrifices another clue. Uh, so they found the lightning bolt. 
So the question is, do we sacrifice the Zubera and play? I think no. We're just going to let the vampire, you know, die. Okay, we'll block and take two. Draw. So we hit the sacrifice outlet. So I was rewarded for not sacrificing the Zubera. So my biggest issue right now is if I play Cabal Ritual into Vasara Seer into Supernatural Stamina, I don't have a whole lot of mana. Like we've been a little bit bottlenecked this entire time. Although I suppose I would get to draw three cards if I took that line. Question is if I can afford to wait a turn. So Peepog would be card number five. Like, do I have a reasonable draw next turn that is better? I don't think I do. So let's Cabal Ritual. Play the Vasara Seer. We're going to cast the Supernatural Stamina. Sacrifice the Zubera. Uh, I need to remember how to do this. I think you click on the draw trigger first. Okay, I did it correctly. And now you sacrifice the Zubera again and you get to draw more cards. So I'll draw four cards here. So I have four hits, not three. All right, so draw two. And then we get to scry, put it on the bottom, draw two, and we fizzled. But I did draw a couple lands. Calling the weak, is that a card we want? I don't think it is. So I'm gonna put that on the bottom, play the peat bog and pass. Point of cat's faithless looting. Sacred cat, and then flashback faithless looting. Prismatic strands, so they found the strands which is really difficult for this deck to beat. And they have the cat. Okay, draw. All right, let's play Cabal Ritual. Unearth was a very good draw here. We're gonna cast this, getting the Zubera. Undying Malice. Sacrifice the Zubera again. Draw trigger first. So now it returns. We'll sacrifice this again. So draw two. Scry. That can go on the bottom. The Zubera. Okay. Now we scry. Um. I don't think I need another Calling the Weak. All right, this is going to seem a little bit odd, I think. Or, well, that actually doesn't work the way I thought it would. Um, so I can Undying Malice the Vasara Seer and then Calling the Weak it into Deadly Dispute. Oh no, I'd want to Undying Malice and then Deadly Dispute. Because then I could play another Floating Dream. Hmm. Feel really choked on mana this game. Could also just sacrifice the Vasaris here, but I don't know if I want to do that. Alright, I'm going to Undying Malice on the Vasaris here, and then Deadly Dispute it. Okay, so we'll draw two. So I get a treasure token, and then I get to draw two cards. We do have a land drop still if I can draw an untapped mana source. All right, draw. We hit the untapped mana source. All right, so calling the weak, we'll get rid of the Vasaris here. I don't know how we're realistically supposed to beat this Prismatic Strands, but I'm going to try to figure out how. Okay, and now we play the Floating Dream Zubera. Deadly Dispute. Draw a whole bunch of cards here. 
double dark ritual isn't the worst um all right so we can cast the other floating dream zubera into another deadly dispute here dark rituals on the stack our opponent's just like posturing because they have this prismatic strands so they're pausing over and over when they could just cast this now and it'd have the same effect as when i played the ember fist later Okay, so Dark Rituals resolved. We will cast the Floating Dream Zubera. Deadly Dispute. A. Now we get a treasure and draw two more cards. Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual. Play the Vasar Seer. Floating Dreams Ubera. I think I've come up with a plan to win this game, by the way. Uh, we're going to... They're going to have to flashback strands in response to this. So we're going to set up some treasures. And we're just going to try to set up like a perfect hand, essentially. And um, win on their upkeep. Let's draw a whole bunch of cards here. Uh, that can stay. We'll keep that. Okay, and now the scry. That can go on the bottom. Cabal Ritual. Um, how to do this. I could also shred memory the strands. Not that it really matters. I guess that's how this deck beats strands. I just didn't see it till the combo turn. Um, let's get back a floating dreams you bear, I guess. Sacrifice it. Seven cards. We'll put the fake hero and death on top. Okay. Um... I think I do want to cast this. All right, so we're going to discard their hand. Rally the peasants. All right, so we're going to cast this shred memory now. Looting, rally, strands, bolt. Make them choose a color. I mean, they're going to pick red. Yep. They chose red. And now we can play the Ember Fist. Okay. Do I just like bring back, or I could probably just play another blocker. They don't have lethal damage on board. All right, so we have five cards left in deck. We'll go to clean up. We can discard all these tap lands that do nothing. That's a good starting point. Uh, we probably want to keep a swamp. We don't need the Blood Throne Vampire or this. Uh, I don't think I need both Exhum and uh, and or Unearth, so we can probably get rid of this. Really, we're still over, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get rid of a fake your own death then. All right, pass the turn. I've used half my clock on this already. Three of an inspector, yep. They draw off their clue. Another Luminarch, so now they're at 28. Uh, we'll block here. All right, so we're at two draw. All right, uh, we'll start off with a supernatural stamina. Unearth. Save targets at them. 
Or maybe I wasn't supposed to do it that way. I don't know. I should undo my auto yields. Or cancel. Um, supernatural stamina. Sacrifice. Yeah, I messed up. I just lost out on a little bit of damage there. Uh, save targets. So now this returns. Cast a fake your own death. Sacrifice this again. Yeah, I, I just lost that on damage. That was a mistake. So now this returns. Fake your own death. Sacrifice. Hope I don't lose because of that. Okay, scry. That can go to the bottom. I think I might have lost that on like five damage there. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it was enough to win, but I definitely lost damage. Or maybe it was. Damn. Or maybe if I had kept... No, I guess I needed the swamp. I think that might have cost me. I think I lost by that damage. That's a bummer. Ah, oh, I I fought, I played that game so well up until that point. I feel like, damn it! I was just so nervous about clock time that I messed up. All right, well now we don't have to worry about the prismatic strands anymore. That's definitely my own fault. Um, get rid of this ash. We don't need that. Okay, what to do? I think we could probably get rid of a Shred Memory. I don't know. Maybe we need all of those. I'm going to shave a Shred Memory. Let's just try this out. I'll need to play faster if I'm going to win this match, though. I just wasted half my clock on a losing game that I misplayed in. Uh, can't afford to keep that mulligan. Sure, keep... Get rid of uh, Swamp. Bridge Pass. Plains. Fog Pass. Next turn we can tread memory for the Zubera. Mountain. Hawk, sure. They discard strands, but we don't care about that. So we'll now go get the Zubera. Pass. Squadron Hawk. Ouch. Draw. Um, so I can tap this Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual fake your own. Yeah, I think we're going. Blue. Maybe I want to start on this. It's risky if they have Pyroblast here, but... I guess I have Unearth. Okay. So... Bring it back. Dark Ritual. We're gonna fake your own death. Deadly Dispute. Okay, and then we can... Calling the Weak. Draw six. Okay. Draw two. No reanimation effect in there. That's a little bit of a bummer. Um, we can shred memory for Exhum, but we have to pass the turn. All right, pass. Sacrifice it to itself. Keep that. All right. Eight minutes on clock. That first game was such a time suck. Ouch. Draw. Um, let's get back the Vizier. Or the Seer, I mean. Play the Zubair on pass. I'm choked on mana, so I have to play the stuff out early. 
We'll just take three. No need to block here. They have another electricery. That's annoying. Sacrifice. They can go in the bottom. Squadron knock, sure. So we need to find another sacrifice outlet. Um, sure. Supernatural stamina. And then deadly dispute. Draw three. Not very good. Pass the turn. I'm disappointed that I lost that first game due to a misplay, and now I'm just short of winning. Oh, well, actually, I'm not just short of winning. I'm pretty behind this game. But, uh, like, I don't feel like seven minutes is enough time to win both games. Um, let's get in there. We're an aggro deck. Okay. They have three cards. Take three, we're at seven. We're almost dead here. Need a sacrifice outlet. There we go. Dark Ritual. Seer. Sacrifice this. Save targets at them. Sure. Auto yield. That can stay on top. Supernatural Stamina. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. We can beat the Prismatic Strands. Um, keep that. Draw. Bottom. Dark Ritual. Zubera. Deadly Dispute, draw two, and we fizzled. Uh, that's a bummer. Um, might as well play the Vampire, I guess. Bass. Looting. I guess I could have bottomed the Calling the Week, but I thought my choke point was mana. They're just swinging out here. Um, I don't think there's a real difference between being at like two or being at one. So I'm just going to take it. And they had Rally the whole time. All right, so we're dead. I feel like I threw that first game. My own fault. Let's see what... So I would have sacrificed the Vizier in the upkeep. So we would, would have seen this card with our Scry. I would have bottomed that. And then our draw step would have been Undying Malice. So even if they didn't close here, I wouldn't have gotten the win anyway. Zero and one, four rounds left to go. If you haven't joined them already, I would recommend opening up our description down below and joining our seven social media networks. They're each great in their own way, but I would strongly suggest joining our Discord server. In there, you will find others just like you looking to improve their Storm game and grow as a combo community. If you're a member of our YouTube channel, you should sync your account to Discord to unlock our private member section that has the latest and greatest deck lists, concepts, and much, much more. Let's get back to comboing out. Match 2. We're on the draw, so we have a way of getting our Zubera. We have a blue mana, but what we're lacking is additional mana. So I can Dark Ritual and then Shred Memory, but we're a little bit tight on mana here. So I can take the risk of not drawing lands, or I can just London Mulligan. I think you're better, but just better off using the London Mulligan. And here, this hand doesn't have any mana, so we're going to ship this as well. Yikes. Uh, am I supposed to keep this? I don't know. Um, we have to bottom two cards. So we're definitely getting rid of one fake your own death. And then probably the calling the weak. Not a great hand. Probably the Jeskai Wildfire deck. 
And it is draw. Floating Dream Zubera, pass the turn. We need more mana if we're going to try to combo on our turn. Four mana. Gav Blast. And Ardent Elementalist. All right, so we can, if I draw a ritual here, we can try. I did not. Um, hmm. Unfortunate. I can unearth the Zubera. Maybe that's just the play here. And then I try to Undying Malice when they kill it. Attempt to Undying Malice. Okay, so I'll draw one card here. We do have four more ways to bring back that specific Zubera, but we can also draw a different one. You know, we're, we'll be okay. Um, I think I'm going to play the Vampire here. Pass the turn. Opponent has two cards in hand. Ephemerate. Not a good sign. I don't love that. They pick up a Galvanic Blast. And now they can get back the Ephemerate. Blood Throne Vampire down. So they have Ephemerate and one unknown in hand. I think uh, now's our time to, to go. I don't know what the one unknown is, but this is definitely a good spot for us. Get back the Zubera. Play the Seer. And let's attempt to Undying Malice the Floating Dream Zubera. Okay, so now they're going to get their Gaff Blast here. They're going to go after our Vasara Seer. That's interesting. So I'm going to fake your own death on the Vasara Seer. I thought they would have gone after the Floating Dream there. And then we might as well sacrifice this and get a Scry in. Okay. Scry. I do think I want a Cabal Ritual. So now the Gaff Blast fizzles. This gains Undying. Sacrifice the Zubera comes back and then we'll sacrifice it again and we're going to find four cards here okay scry don't want shred memory two it all looks like we fizzled Ooh. all right we'll try again next turn our opponent once again is getting back the ephemerate because they have that loop going on so now they have Ephemerate plus two unknown cards in hand. Main phase Ephemerate. Getting back the Gaff Blast. And Creature Down. I know my top card is a uh, Number Fist. No need to uh, sacrifice it and waste time clicking. All right, let's Cabal Ritual. Blood Throne Vampire. Floating Dream Zubera. Fake your own death. And we will sacrifice the Zubera. Click th that. So now this comes back, and then we'll sacrifice this again. Draw six. Okay. That was, uh, something. A lot of mana in there, jeez. 36 cards. Okay, Dark Ritual. I'm going to sacrifice a bridge here. So, let's sacrifice our land and draw two. Play an island. Dark Ritual. 
Zubera and I'm I wonder if I should calling the weaker to sacrifice to the vampire here. I think we have enough mana where I think I'm just going to sacrifice it and keep the cards in hand. Draw. All right, I see you. Get back the Zubera. Calling the weak. Draw four this time. Uh, I've already used the Exhum. So I don't actually have a way of... I could go get another Zubera, actually. So let's shred memory. And we'll just go get another Floating Dream. It's actually the last Floating Dream. Cast it. Cast the Ashen Skin. And then I'm going to sacrifice the Ashen Skin Zubera just because it means that I'm going to draw one more card here. Opponent thinking pretty hard about this uh, Ashen Skin Trigger. And it was just the planes this whole time. We were on the island for that long and it was just the planes. Alright, sacrifice the Floating Dream. All right, that seems good to me. Dark Ritual, Cabal Ritual, Unearth, get back that Floating Dream, Transmute. So what we can do now is we have so much mana, I can go get a Fake Your Own Death here, cast it on the Floating Dream, Sacrifice, so now this return, sacrifice again. Draw a whole bunch of cards. Keep that on top. Draw. Scry. That can go on the bottom. Cabal Ritual. The Ember Fist Zubera. Give it Undying. Uh, let's sacrifice it. And our opponent concedes. So we've gotten game number one over the Jeskai Ephemerate deck. That was a good game for us. Uh, I think we definitely want the Ashen Skin Zubera here. I think we probably want to prohibit. I wonder if this is a matchup where you want both Ember Fists. I'm not sure. I'm going to skim on a Blood Throne Vampire here. And I think I'm going to shave... Um, two Dark Ritual. I know that seems odd, but like against control decks, I feel like you normally want more action than you want mana, so I'm going to try this out. Unfortunately, we just can't keep this. Down to six. Good hand. Good hand. Keep. Um, I think you get rid of the Dark Ritual. Bridge. My own bridge, pass. Another bridge, draw. Peep bug, pass. Okay. Let's play the Ashen Skin Zubera. Pass that turn. Cleansing Wildfire. Opponent still has six cards in hand. I wonder if there's a way for us to discard their hand this turn with the Ashen Skin. So I can Cabal Ritual, Supernatural Stamina, Deadly Dispute. This is all assuming that they don't have Dispel. Alright, let's try it. Supernatural Stamina. They have a blast. So I will Deadly Dispute. I'll discard a card. Draw. That fizzles, this fizzles, player land. Uh, I'm just going to play out the Zubera. It's fine. Pass. Opponent with five cards. Four now. Three mana, four mana. Ardent Elementalist. 
Getting back the Gav Blast. We'll draw a card off this when our Zubera dies. They choose not to cast it. Interesting. Um, let's get in there. I mean, I'd rather this thing be off the table. No ephemerate tricks. They don't take me up on my offer. It was an offer they could refuse. I'm going to pass. Five cards in the opponent's hand. We go to 18. Mole Drifter. They draw two. The Evoke Trigger. Do you have the Ephemerate? No. Cleansing Wildfire. Okay, I'm going to attempt a Deadly Dispute right now. See if it happens. Calling the weak and... Okay. That's actually not bad. We now have Threshold so we can cast this Cabal Ritual. Um, let's play the Floating Dream. Bloodthrown Vampire. And let's Calling the Weak. I want to see if they try to respond with the Gav Blast here. They did not. Okay, so Calling the Weak happens. Unless they try to respond and they did not. Cast Unearth, bring back the Zubera. They're being uh, very patient here with that Gav Blast. I'm going to target our Zubera with the Fake Your Own Death, see if that does it. And now they cast it. I will... Hmm. Fake its own... Er, no, it's Calling the Weak. I think Mana is a little bit better right now. All right, so calling the weak. Gap Blast Fizzles, and then Fake Your Own Death Fizzles. All right, Unearth, Floating Dream Zubera, Fake Your Own Death. All right. So now we can put the draw trigger on the stack, return it, sacrifice once again. So let's draw some cards. Vampire gets big. Draw more cards. Vampire gets big. We have four in hand. Let's play the Ashen Skin. You shall discard your hand. And our opponent concedes the game. Okay, so now we are one and one with three rounds left. Playing your favorite combo deck in paper just got so much easier with the Epic Storm mini token pack. You can pick one up at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $13. It includes 64 double-sided mini tokens. That's 128 tokens total. And they include 10 black, 10 blue, 10 red, 5 green, 5 white, 3 colorless, 20 storm counters. That means that you can count your way all the way up to 20 for Grape Shot, everyone's favorite storm wind condition. A Galvanic Relay Exile Indicator, 4 treasure tokens for Strike It Rich, and then 10 monk tokens for our vintage friends. It also has Slime Time Live! Eve Progenitor Ooze Tokens with the power and toughness already built in to make playing in paper so much easier. No fumbling around with dice. We've got you covered. Make sure to go grab those if you're playing modern. And then Squirrels vs. Goblins, Chatterstorm vs. Empty the Warrens, the Battle of the Ages. You definitely need 20 Squirrel Tokens and 20 Goblin Tokens. You're going to love this mini token pack, I promise. And once again, you can grab that at theepicstorm.com slash shop. Match three, we're on the draw. Here we've opened up our blue source. We have the wrong Zubera. And the rest of the hand looks pretty good. I think I'm actually going to try this. I want to, just for science purposes, let's see how it goes. Ice tunnel. Okay. Tough matchup. Land two right on time. Love to see it. I'm assuming that this is Demir Fairies. And I am indeed correct. Do they have land two? The million dollar question. 
They put one card on top, so they do not have land two. Ashen Skin Zubera. Pass that turn. Ooh, it's a tap land. I mean, a land's a land, I guess. Another fairy seer. Ideally, we would draw into a black source on our turn, so that way I could supernatural stamina into calling the week. Right now, this being an island is actually hurting me quite a bit. Because otherwise, I think we could discard our opponent's entire hand. We'll take one. Draw. Ah, oh, that's frustrating. Um, I think we just Deadly Dispute here. Okay, save targets. Draw two. Once again, the island biting me in the butt here. Both islands. All right, let's bring back the Zubera. Okay, opponent up to five cards. Down to four with the Swamp. Yeah, both islands, like, that's just bad luck. And our opponent's going to choose to hold open Counterspell Mana here by the looks of it. No. Augur Bolas, okay. It looked like they thought about Nijitsuing there and then decided against it, and they missed on the Augur. Alright, Cabal Ritual. Vasara Seer. Supernatural Stamina. Sacrifice. This comes back. So now the question is, do we want to stamina again, or do we just let this go? And I think the answer is that we just let it go. So our opponent's going to discard their entire hand. And we're looking for that blue Zubera. We get two scries here. So that allows us to bring back the Ashen Skin Zubera, but it doesn't really help us that much. Uh, I'm going to just bottom that. Now they discard their final card. Ninja of the Deep Hours, and now our Scry. That can go on the bottom. Play the Blood Throne Vampire and pass the turn. We're just begging at this point to draw into the Blue Zubera. We'll sacrifice the Blood Throne Vampire and Scry. That can go on the bottom. Now we'll take three going down to 14. Okay, they're going to hold back the auger, which is sort of interesting. I think that they probably should attack, but oh well. We did not draw it, so we're going to pass the turn. Opponent attacks were two again. We go to 13. And they're passing. Draw. Um, I could deadly dispute away the Vasaris here. I don't know. I think if I'm going to do that sort of play, I should do it in their upkeep. Because then they can't uh, have like double spell stutter up or something like that. Let's try this. Yikes. Drawing a lot of blanks here. So now we go down to 10. We have 43 cards in our deck, but we know that the bottom, um, like, four cards of our deck aren't the Zubera, and we also haven't seen any of the three Transmute card, the Shred Memory. Opponent giving us a window here. Come on, deck. Zubera. Nope. All right, Peepog Pass. So realistically, we've had seven hits for quite some time, and we just haven't drawn them. Cycles Ash Barons. Opponent attacks. This is five damage coming in. Okay, draw. 
I can cast it sacrificing the bridge. Uh, let's Cabal Ritual, we'll see if this resolves. Okay, let's float blue. Deadly Dispute sacking the bridge. Okay. Uh, I think we want to float the black mana here. Undying Malice. Snuff out. Fake your own death. Ooh. They should have counterspelled the Zubera. Um, so that happens. Fake your own death. And sacrifice that to Calling the Weak. But I'm only going to draw one card here, um, unfortunately. Okay, draw. And now the Snuff Out Fizzles. And we're going to draw two cards off this Calling the Weak, but we'd have to be incredibly lucky to win here. Sacrifice the Floating Dream. Draw two. And that's a Fizzle. Bummer. Okay, so we're going to concede this one. Let's draw two more and see what would have happened had our opponent had nothing. Um, I don't know. Maybe that gets there? I'm not sure. So here we probably want the, these Ashen Skins and Prohibit. And I think I just want to try the same plan where I brought out two copies of Dark Ritual and the extra Blood Throne Vampire. Game two. Nope. This seems reasonable. We'll keep this. Um, I think a ball ritual on the bottom. I'm not really too sure. Bridge pass. Ice Tunnel. So they have Snuff Out available. Pass the turn. Two mana up. Augur Bolas. Um. I could go Dark Ritual, Zubera, Calling the Weak. I don't have a Sacrifice Outlet. I think I'm just going to play a Floating Dream and pass the turn. Something I've come to realize over this league is that I don't think I actually like Peat Bog. <laughs> like, I know having Black Black is good, but the fact that it dies all the time, I just don't love. Uh, I think I'm going to start moving away from Peat Bog in this deck. Like, I'd rather just have a land that consistently taps for mana. And they're passing the turn. Draw. Another peat bog. Once again, I am just passing the turn. Eight cards in the opponent's hand here. Another ice tunnel. Beardane. Draw. Ooh. All right, dark ritual. Okay. What about an Undying Malice? Am I allowed to do that? Snuff out. I will attempt to Deadly Dispute. Draw a card. Deadly Dispute. They're attempting to Counterspell. I will prohibit their Counterspell. All right, draw two, make a treasure. Fizzles, and then my spell will fizzle. Um, Floating Dream. And then Calling the Weak. Draw. Um, I don't think this actually does anything here. I'm going to put the Vampire in play, I think. Grab the Blood Throne Vampire and cast it. 
I wonder in this matchup, if instead of boarding out Dark Ritual and uh, the Vampire, if you're just supposed to board out on these effects, like, um, do I have too many of the Undying effect versus decks with removal? Like, should I be shaving those in those matchups? I'm not sure. All right, opponent still has five cards. Brainstorm with the Terramorphic Expanse. So they're getting a perfect brainstorm here. Some legacy style brainstorms. And they use the Expanse. Come on, tap out. We'll be good for you. Not like that. All right, Vampire down. They have four cards. Draw. That was good. That was very good. Uh, so let's unearth the Floating Dream Zubera. Stupid Peat Bog. Should have known better than to play Peat Bog. Draw. Okay. Um, guess I'm just going to play out the Floating Dream again. They've already used a couple removal spells. I think it's more likely that this card is countered next turn than killed. Preordain. One thing that I've uh, noticed through content creation is that like a high res version of this art just like does not exist. So in my mind, I was like, I have a 5K monitor. I wonder how big the screenshot would be if I just screenshotted the art right now. Augur of Olaf's. Triggers. Snuff out. Ah, uh, bummer. So the, they have the removal spell. Chainer's Edict. So they've got it all over there. We draw one. Okay. Draw. Ashen Skin Zubera. Can't snuff out that one. Cycles Ash Barons. Four cards. Another Augurable Loss. Counterspell. They have four cards. They have Counterspell and Snuff Out. Block. It looked like they were trying to, to Nijitsu before blockers there. Maybe not. Okay, draw. Let's see if they'll counterspell a fake your own death here. I'm fine if they do. They let it go. Calling the weak. They had a spare island. So I just burned two cards to make them them discard an island. I feel like I got got in this uh, situation. All right, we're not going anywhere. I'm going to uh, concede this. All right, so we're one and two, two rounds left to go. Hey, you're still watching. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment and subscribe. If you're looking to make a purchase from Card Hoarder, TCG Player, or Amazon, and are looking to support us, you can open up our description down below, and in there you will find our affiliate links. Those same links are found on the homepage of the Epic Storm, but that's not all. We've included a Card Hoarder button on our website that will load the Epic Storm in your Card Hoarder cart to make life simple for you. Match 4, we're on the play. Decent. I mean, we don't have the proper Zubera, but I think this is probably fine. I've already started working on some changes to this deck list in between rounds. Uh, I'll unveil those at the end. So stick around, watch the rest of this league, and then see my changes. Planes? Okay, so it looks like we're facing the same deck from match number one. Maybe I should have played out the Vasara Seer there. I should have thought about that for a split second longer. Spirited Companion, okay. We didn't see that in match one. Ouch. Draw. Ding dong. 
play the Zubera. And the Vasaris here. Pass. Radiant Fountain. They are not the same dock. Journey to Nowhere. Which one are you targeting? Well, we will sacrifice you. Rest in peace, Zubera. You lived a very meaningful life, uh, drawing me a single card. We don't want that. That can go on the bottom. The Raven Inspector. Ouch. Draw. Tap this. Cast this Unearth, bringing back the Floating Dream Zubera. Undying Malice. Sacrifice. Okay, this comes back. We will undone or supernatural stamina. Sacrifice. This comes back. And then we sacrifice again. So we're going to draw nine cards here and get three scries. So three cards. Scry. That can go on the bottom. We're looking for an untapped black source here. Draw. No untapped black source. Scry. That can go on the bottom. We need untapped black source. Draw three. We fizzled. Oh, that's a bummer. Player bridge. Pass the turn. Discard this. So many deadly disputes in this hand. Um, definitely get rid of one of those at least. Get rid of one of these fake your own dots. Probably this exhume. Calling the week. Okay. Another Radiant Fountain. I feel like uh, the decks we're facing tonight, the white ones, they're a direct result of the Red Black Badness Burn deck recently. Because that deck's just been everywhere. Of course, Skyfisher. Now they can pick up their journey to nowhere. And they do. Now we'll sacrifice our Versar Seer and Scry. Yes, sacrifice it to itself. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely take a Cabal Ritual. Draw. Okay, Cabal Ret. Get back this Floating Dream Zubera. Undying Malice. Deadly Dispute. So it comes back and we'll call in the week it. And I will draw six cards. There's an untapped black source. All right. Dark ritual. Sacrifices for a blue. Let's play the floating dream again. Fake my own death. Deadly dispute. Okay, comes back into the battlefield. Draw. Draw. No sacrifice outlet. Uh, bummer. So we can shred memory here and go get the Blood Throne Vampire. Assuming we haven't used it already. We have not. But then we have to discard. Get rid of these uh, Demir Backwaters, or Dismal Backwaters, my bad. Could have been Demir Backwater in another life. Fun and getting in. Are you mono white or are you just color screwed here? Battle Screech. They've just got to be color screwed, right? And the Battle Screech. Maybe not. Maybe they are, in fact, just mono white. Um, I'm at 10. Blood Throne Vampire. Stamina. Sacrifice. Trigger. Returns. Supernatural Stamina. Sacrifice. Returns. Sacrifice. So we'll draw nine here. 
Okay. Tons of mana. Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual. Cabal Ritual. Uh, let's Deadly Dispute. Sack a Bridge. 15 cards. Um... Have I used all of my reanimate effects? I didn't even consider that. I hope not. 15 cards left in deck. Let's sacrifice the floating dream. Draw. All right, we still have it. Unearth, getting back the Ember Fist. Undying Malice. Let's make a little bit more mana here. Target them. I think we can do 33. And now we will... Oh no, I would need this to resolve. Hmm, that's actually a little bit unfortunate. Did I just punt? Uh, I would have sacrificed the vampire had I realized. Okay, so we'll target this. Sacrifice. So now I'm at... Hmm. I'm a little worried. Like, I don't know if I can deal enough damage. Might as well draw some more cards, I guess. See what else is left in my deck. Four cards. Cabal Ritual. Cabal Ritual. Let's transmute and see what those four cards are. Unearth and then three duds. Okay. I don't think I have any way to access the unearth this turn though. Zubera. Let's sacrifice the Zubera. Hmm. Okay, so they'll discard the final two cards in their hand. Okay. Fake your own death. Sacrifice. Comes back. Sacrifice again. We have to hope that this is 20. I don't think it is. Oh, I think I'm going to be one damage short here. So we know that there's a single copy of uh, Unearth on top of our deck somewhere. Um, I think I'm supposed to just scry to the Unearth somehow. Like, th this guarantees me to get to it. Assuming that I get to untap. Okay. They sacrifice the clue. Desert. All right, so they're getting in for six in the air. We'll go to four. Oh no! Um, they found a way to gain life. Ah, uh, that's such a bummer. I can't win. I am, in fact, dead. Um, pretty sure I'm just dead here. Sack this. Bottom. Sack this. I mean, that goes on top, but I, I can't deal four. Um... Sack that, I guess. Let's just make sure that I'm not wrong here. Yep. Get back the Ember Fist. Then I can deal them one, but that's not good enough. And concede. Ah, uh, okay. Too much life gain. That was disappointing. 
So we're going to want to bring in the flaring pain here, I think. And this time, I think I'm actually going to get rid of the Ashen skin Zubera. I don't think that's what this matchup is about. And then we have one more card to cut. I think you could probably get rid of the Blood Throne Vampire. Uh, th just short on life. On the play. A little bit late on mana, but this isn't bad. Bridge pass. Planes into inspector. Um, I'll play the Vizars here. Try to save some mana on the combo turn. We'll take one down to 19. Desert. They have the journey. This was the downside to playing the Vasaris here. We're going to sacrifice it to itself. We don't need that. That can go on the bottom. Draw. The bog. Now we take one down to 18. For a sky fisher. They pick up the planes into another inspector. We could go right now. I think I'm going to try Dark Ritual, Dark Ritual, the Vasar Seer, play the Floating Dream, Undying Malice, and now we draw four cards. Sacrifice for the draw trigger on the stack, return, sacrifice again, and now we draw four. Two cards. Scry. That can go on the bottom. I don't think we actually need that right now. Okay. Unearth. Get this back. Sacrifice. Draw. We don't need that. That can go on the bottom. Um, unearth. Bring back the Zubera. Let's add four black. That's pretty good. All right. Player Island. Play another Floating Dream Zubera. Supernatural Stamina. Sacrifice. For the draw on the stack, return it. Fake your own death. Sacrifice. Now you just draw so many cards here. This returns. Sacrifice. We're drawing like 30 cards here. Alright, maybe not 30, but a lot. A lot of cards. Bottom. We've already played a land that can go draw bottom. Okay, so we're looking for a dark ritual out of all of those. There they are. Two on the bottom. Wow. Okay, ritual. Ritual. The ball ritual. So much mana. 18 cards left. Exhum, why not? Return the Zubera. Let's draw some more. Okay, 10 cards left in deck. That will keep that, why not? Uh, Billy Dispute will sacrifice the bridge. Now we have a red mana. With that red mana, we can play the Ember Fist. Whoops, cancel. All the way in the front of my hand here. Okay. Cast it. Give it the undying sacrifice. Save targets at you. Okay. Do it again. Sacrifice. Um, do we have any more of those? We do again sacrifice returns and we'll just this should do it okay so this game we could have dealt 30 something but last game we didn't have the resources for that but hey that was a pretty solid turn four now uh we're on the draw for game number three
Cannot keep that. Mulligan. Um, I guess we keep this and just bottom the Ember Fist. I don't love this hand, but this deck's like so resource intensive that like every mulligan is just so crippling. Okay, they kept a one lander. Draw. Uh, let's play the Vasaurus here. All right, they hit their land. Ouch. Draw. Take your own death. Not super useful here. Attack and pass. Three mana now. No! <laughs> uh, why you gotta do me like that? I can't even deadly dispute it because I I guess I could deadly dispute it actually. Um alright, this line's very risky. I'm well aware. Deadly dispute. Um Okay. That could have gone worse. Like our our draw there was actually fairly good. Draw. Play the dismal. See we're a life gain deck two. Opponent's going to get in for two, we'll go to fourteen. For a sky fisher. Sure thing. What are you returning though? Apparently a planes. The captain. Draw. Um. Okay, so they have four cards. I'm gonna set up for a win next turn. Getting back to Vasaris here. No blocks. I'll take six. Oh no, that's exactly lethal. I don't know why that card just was not in my head. I was like, this deck probably isn't playing Rally. Uh, damn. I guess I should have blocked. But I was like, there's no red mana. They're not playing Rally. I just completely forgot about this. And then the second I saw it was just so obvious. Damn. That, that's an embarrassing loss. <sighs> no excuses. We're one and three. If you're looking for more great Magic the Gathering content, definitely check out the Eternal Glory podcast. It is myself, Brian Cook, alongside Brian Cobalt and Phil Gallagher. We primarily discuss Legacy. That said, a lot of what we talk about transcends all formats. We're available on all major podcast platforms. Fifth and final round on the play. Let's see if we can, you know, get 50 play points back. That would be nice. Uh... You know what? I'm going to keep and just pray that we draw a blue source. We added some extra blue sources into our deck with the uh, fake your own death. Let's see if we can just make it work. Keep bog past the turn. I've been editing a deck list throughout the course of this event. And at the end of this round, I will show you my thoughts moving forward. Okay, preordained blue matchups tend to be a little bit tougher. One on top, one on the bottom. Another Floating Dreams Zubera. Okay. We always have the backup of Discard into Unearth, but in this matchup, that's a little bit tough. Bridge. Okay. There we go. There's a blue source. They cycle Ash Barons for an island. Ah, it's the Jeskai Ephemerate deck again. Okay. Draw. Icing the bog. Sure. Okay. Zubera. Um, sure. I don't have another sacrifice outlet. Um, play it. I'm gonna cycle this on Earth. 
No dice. Okay, pass the turn. Hoping to get a little bit lucky there, and obviously that didn't uh, pan out. I do find it funny that uh, Fire Ice is a rare, a common, and an uncommon. But I think most recently was printed as rare. There's an Undying Malice. Hiya! Pass that turn. Another cleansing wildfire. On the bog. Sure. Okay, draw. Shred memory. Love to shred. Transmute, let's go get that blood thrown vampire. Hiya. Um now I feel like an idiot for tapping wrong. Um I'll let that go. Pass. I did not play this league that well, by the way. Like there's dozens of mistakes I've made this league. Calling the weak. Play the vampire. Does it resolve? Okay. Let us pass here. I guess, like, I didn't need to tap the Peat Bog, but I was worried about keeping my blue mana open, so I just threw away Peat Bog. I don't know. I feel like I'm just, like, cascading mistakes at this point because, like, I'm pretty unhappy with how this league has gone. I think cutting village rights is just, like, a really big mistake, and that's caused me to fizzle a lot. Um, this is my first time playing the deck without village rights, and it was just miserable. And now they're getting back counter spell. They got back preordain. They must already have a counter spell in hand. Draw. Seer. Dark ritual. Exhum. They have a counter spell. Damn it. Okay. Ah, that's a bummer. Mole Drifter. Um, I will attempt to fake my own death. And then sacrifice this, I guess, for a scry. Okay, another fake your own death that can go on the bottom. Dawnbringer Cleric. So if I can rip the reanimation spell for Floating Dream, I actually have a window here. Draw. There we go. Dark Ritual. Cast this unearth, bring back Floating Dream Zubera. Undying Malice. Come on, deck. Be good to me. Sacrifice. Returns. Sacrifice. We draw four. Draw two. Scry. That can go on the bottom. Two. And we fizzled. <sighs> Feels bad. I just think it's a little... Um, like, unrealist. Like, when you don't have village rates in your deck, the turns that you need to go off, it needs to be huge. Where with village rates, I felt like we did a little bit more chaining before we got to the, that point, and that just doesn't exist anymore. I'm just, like, super far behind. So, we're going to take some damage here. If you use two counter spells. I guess there's like a small chance we could come back. Um, deadly to speed away this treasure token, I guess. And if they have ephemery, ephemery represents another counter spell with the uh, Archaeomancer. Pass the turn. I just realized that this is a main deck Dawnbringer cleric. You usually don't see too many of those main deck. 
Ouch. Take five down to ten. Draw. Something. Floating Dream Zubera. Undying Malice. Lightning bolts the Vasaris here in response. You're a jerk. That's what you are. Um. Okay. Draw. Sacrifice. Keep that on top. And pass the turn. Opponent back up to two cards now. So they have one random card left in their hand, and we're going to five. So we have to win on the back of this Deadly Dispute, or we're dead. All right, let's add some uh, manas. Draw two. That is counter target spell number four. All right, you got me. And that was also four unique counter spells, zero counter spells off of the Archaeomancer. That was a rough one. I'm not going to pretend it was pretty. Uh, so we definitely want these Ashen Skin Zuberas. We want the Prohibit. Um, I think we might even want the Ember Fist. Just because of the Dawnbringer Cleric, but maybe I'm just not thinking rationally about that. We got a couple copies of Dark Ritual, and then I think we can skim on Fake Your Own Death. Like, it's just a little expensive here. Let's try this out. Oh, I guess they never updated our record after the last round. We are one in three, not one in two. I guess, I don't know. I'm going to keep it. Like, I just feel like every mulligan with this deck is just like super brutal. And these peat bogs stink. Like, I'm definitely not playing these again. I'm sorry, I keep on complaining, but there's just, like, so many things about this deck list I don't like. On top of my poor play of this league. Draw. Alright. The Ashen Skin Zubera. What are you doing? Preordain? Sure. Draw. Okay, um, I think we're going to have to lose the Peat Bog this turn. Let's play the Sarseer. Fake your own death. Calling the weak. Okay, and now... Undying Malice. Sacrifice. Target them, returns, sacrifice. So now they're going to discard their whole hand. We gave up a lot of resources to do it here, though, unfortunately. I guess I shouldn't have played the Calling the Week in hindsight. I, I mean, I just wasted a Calling the Week. Yeah, that was just dumb. I don't know what I was thinking there. Okay. Yeah, I had no reason to cast that Calling the Week. That was just poor play. No one should ever watch this video. I would like this video to be destroyed. I guess I could always not upload it, right? I, uh... Draw. Get in there. One has two cards. Mold Drifter. Yep. They're passing, no land drop. Okay, get in there. Land number four. Seagate Oracle. Draw. I mean, I could make them discard their hand all over again, but I'd just be losing a bunch of resources. Just going to pass. Cycling Ash Barons. Ouch. Draw. Another Unearth. Um, 
I'm just going to pass here. I just don't see the need to bring back the uh, the Zubera right now. Ephemery on the Oracle. I guess I could have prohibited that. I don't know if I'd want to, though. Like, I don't think that's... Like, their value game isn't really what this matchup's about. Okay, so they're back up to five cards already. Preordain. Let's attempt to prohibit this. You have the counter. Dispel. Okay, I'm going to attempt to fake my own death. And then sacrifice this to get a scry in. Yes. So now the seer comes back, we get our treasure scry. Keep bog to the bottom. Draw. Hey, a card with text on it. Okay, so. Varchal. Floating Dream Zubera. Sacrifice it, draw one card. Uh, yeah, keep that. Unearth, bring back the Floating Dream. Deadly Dispute. We know that there's a Floating Dream on top. Double Floating Dream, actually. Uh, unearth, bring back the Floating Dream again. Sacrifice. Okay. Keep that on top, why not? Unearth again. This is a very strange way of comboing. This isn't normal. All unearths. Sacrifice. Draw four, I believe. And no untap land in there. Keep this on top, just in case they do have removal. Play the bridge. All right. Uh, we do have both Umber Fists in the deck. So I'm going to discard this one. If they remove it, it's not the end of the world. And I think I'm going to discard the bridge as well. Uh, I guess I shouldn't F6. Just in case they attempt to kill the Seer, I can scry. But I left... I don't know. I guess that doesn't make sense, because I, I put another Seer on top. Okay. Draw. Calling the weak. Seer. Loading Dream Zubera. Looks like they have a counter spell. Go to blue. Floating Dream Zubera. Supernatural Stamina. So we'll draw four here. Returns. What's going on here? Okay, so it does come back. Sacrifice. Stupid peat bog, I hate you so much. Um, I think we have to put that on the bottom. Keep that. Pass the turn. When it's still with three cards in hand. Ardent Elementalist. Okay, and they're getting back Ephemerate. Well, they tapped very oddly if they got back Ephemerate. So what are they holding open? Did they draw Counterspell for turn? Ashen Skin Zubera. They did draw Counterspell for turn. Unearth, bringing back Floating Dream Zubera. Okay, Supernatural Stamina. Sacrifice comes back. Got Supernatural Stamina. Sacrifice. And we'll draw nine cards here. Comes back and sacrifice. So we we know that there's a swamp somewhere in our deck. Bottom this. Draw. It's an island. We need swamp. Bottom. Draw. Hey, we hit a swamp. That can go on the bottom. 
play the swamp. Dark ritual. Um guess we'll exhume. Okay. So if I'm going to win this, I have to hit a ritual effect off this floating dream that I can cast for one mana. Okay, let's uh, see how it goes here. And I bricked. That's a bummer. Pass the turn. Heard the shred memory. Okay. We're at 14 now. Opponent has four cards in hand. We gave them two fresh cards off with the small drifter. Ashen Skin Zubera. And another counter spell. Deadly Dispute. Dispel. Okay. Deadly Dispute. Ephemerate. I think they got me here. Because now they get back Ephemerate and I'm just going to be locked out. All right, so we went one and four, which is a nightmare. Uh, this league was miserable. I did not have fun. I'm sure you could tell because I whined during most of it. Uh, that's no surprise to me. So this is what I was drafting up in between rounds. So no peep ball. You'll notice six untapped black sources for the combo turn. Village rights is back, which means that we're better at chaining mid combo. We have less sacrifice outlets. We're back down to four from six. I think one thing that I really noticed was like, you always want the first one, but everyone after that is hot trash. So I think you want to get away with as few as copies of those as possible. Um, and when with removing the peat bog, we went up a land. So there's 15 lands in the deck now. And I went down a shred memory because one of the things about shred memory is it's awesome having access to seven copies of Floating Dream Zubera, but once you have access to Zubera once, you just never want to see Shred Memory ever again. So um, that's why I went down a single copy of Shred Memory. From there, you'll notice there's one copy of Fake Your Own Death, which I think is probably the right number. So the reason you want at least one copy is that this Deadly Dispute, there will be games where it's tough to find this, excuse me, in order to Ember Fist Zubera, or maybe you need to draw to the point where there's only one or two cards left in your deck. Fake Your Own Death can make a red mana without drawing to the bottom of your life. Hey, Brand Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.